So confidence killer number two is focusing on fear, focusing on fear. So fear has many different faces, right? Sometimes fear is afraid of failure, afraid of success, afraid of what people think, afraid of being broke, afraid of not being able to pay the bills, afraid of what you know, the impact this is going to have on the significant other or the relationship or, you know, afraid of having to uproot the family or downsize or live in I can't afford a prison, uh, afraid of going backwards, afraid of the humiliation and embarrassment of getting to the top of the mountain only to slide down the other side. There's so many different fears we have in life, right? And our ego can play with us because our ego is all about our, our you know, making sure we look good and avoid looking bad right? It's all about protecting our image. And we chase after false saviors, right? False saviors of money, false saviors of fame, fortune, acclaim, security in these outside things. We get our security from our money or our prestige or our reputation or what people think. We get our security from our bank account. We get our security from where we are in the rankings at our company. We get our security from you know whether or not people affirm us. And so there's all these outside false saviors, again, coping mechanisms that have empty promises that don't deliver. We think that if we get to a certain level, then we'll be happy. And then we realize that's not really the source of happiness. It might be the source of celebration for a moment, but it doesn't have longevity, does it? It has a hollow, empty promise. It does not deliver long term. And so we chase these false saviors and then we have fear because those false saviors get dismantled. Those rugs get pulled out from underneath us. We have a pandemic. We're stuck in quarantine. The things that worked before don't work anymore. Our methods are not working. We're banging our heads against the wall with fruitless toil. That steals our peace because we're in frustration mode. We're pissed off watching other people kicking ass and taking names while we're on the sidelines, picking up crumbs, wondering what the frick, why can't I figure it out? Why can't I get this right? We beat ourselves up. I should be doing more. I should be doing better. I should be further ahead. And then we wonder why we feel shitty because We're shooting all over ourselves with all the things we expect from ourselves that we're not delivering on. We have promises that we have to ourselves that we're not delivering on. And that can create unrest. That can create self beat up. That can uh, create inner turmoil. So focusing on fear has many different faces, but one thing in common, it's focusing on what we don't want. It's using the gift of our imagination against ourselves. It's the misuse of our imagination. Now, does that mean we should all be lollipops, unicorns, rainbows, sunny skies, and always just be positive all the time? No, we got to confront the issue. Like I said before, we have to confront the truth. It's called accurate thinking. It's not pessimism. It's accurate thinking to step into the light of truth and continue to step in the light of truth. That takes courage. So it's not about being the ostrich, putting our head in the sand and just being airy fairy positive all the time. We have to exercise accurate thinking and critical thinking. And we have to call it tight with ourselves because if we BS ourselves, guess what? That's a prison of our own making. And if we BS ourselves, how are we going to ever step into the power that comes from living in the truth if we're living in a lie ourselves?